Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you the basics of how to use the set matte effect. I'll also show you how easy it is to use the set matte effect to create some very natural and organic texture animations. The set matte effect is very similar to track mats in that it allows you to take the channel information from one layer and control the visibility of other layers. I'll use this blue texture layer as my matte layer, and I'll add the set matte effect onto the text layer. So with the text layer selected, I can go to the effect menu, go to channel, and choose set matte. Then go to the effect controls panel, and the first thing I need to do is set the matte layer. So I'll go to take matte from layer, click the drop down. So I'm gonna choose the blue texture layer. So anywhere that there was transparency on the blue texture or the matte layer is hiding the text layer. And anywhere there wasn't transparency or where you're seeing the blue, you're seeing the text. And if I go back to the effect, if I click the invert, it's going to do the opposite. Now the transparency is showing the text and anything that wasn't transparent is hiding. And if you're familiar with track mats, you know that when you set a track mat, usually the layer visibility gets hidden. But with the set mat, we can still see the texture. And I can actually toggle off the visibility of the mat layer and it is still doing its job. Another great thing about the set mat effect is that the matte layer can be anywhere on your layers panel. It can be all the way at the bottom, the visibility can be off and you can still apply the effect. And you can also use the same matte layer on multiple layers. And I'm gonna turn off the toggle transparency grid just so we can see a background color. So first you select the layer that you want to use as a matte layer. Next to that, you will see this option here. So if you're using effects or mask on a layer, you wanna make sure you choose this, otherwise you're not going to see the effect. But I'll keep it at source and use matte four. These are all of the available channels on your matte layer, but in most cases, you're gonna use either the alpha channel, which refers to the transparency information of your matte layer, or the luminance channel, which takes the brightness values. An experiment with inverting the mat. That's gonna give you different options. Same with the stretch mat to fit. And these two options down here, you're probably not gonna use that much. Here I have a text layer and a shape layer. I'm gonna select the text layer, add the set mat effect by going to effect, channel, set mat. I'll go to the effect controls panel, click the drop down to choose the mat layer, and I'm gonna choose the shape layer. I'll toggle on the transparency grid so you can see what's going on. So the alpha channel of the shape layer, so that's the blue layer that you're seeing below, the alpha channel of the transparency is hiding the visibility of the text layer and showing the text. Now if I invert it, the opposite is going to happen. If I move the text layer, so I'll tap V and move it, you can see I can move it outside of the shape layer when it gets to the shape layer, it's visible. When it's not, it's hidden. Same if I toggle off the layer. If you bring in a vector file, such as from Adobe Illustrator, if you add the set matte effect, you're gonna see it acts differently than text layers and shape layers. That's because you need to tick the box for continuously rasterize, as text layers and shape layers are continuously rasterized. So once I tick this box, you're gonna see now it's acting similar. And if you're using something like a PNG file where you cannot tick the box, if you pre-compose the layer, then you'll be able to check continuously rasterize and it should work the same. And my favorite use case for the set matte effect is using it with textures. So here I just have one layer with an animated texture and all of the other layers have the set matte effect on it set to that animated texture layer. That's it. Now, if you look at that colored background texture behind the M logo, that looks pretty cool. And if I go to the set matte effect and click on invert matte, you will see that is just a copy of the same logo. I scaled it up, but it's given me a completely unique looking texture. And I can go down to the blend modes, change the blend modes. 
And now it looks like I have all these different textures when in reality, everything is using the exact same layer as a mat. And the same thing with this example. I am just using one animated texture on the very bottom as the mat layer. I added the set mat effect onto the different graphic layers, played around with the settings to get unique looks. And the last cool thing that I'll mention about the set mat effect when you're using them with shape layers. So all of these stars I created on one shape layer, but you can use all of the animation and all the things that you can do on shape layers with the set matte effect. So you can use repeaters, you can use the trim pass, the wiggle pass, and of course you can use the twist. And who doesn't love a good twist to add some fun to your animations? And that is the set matte effect in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.